Hey everyone, it's Joy here with another Lawn Fawn video. Today I created a fun platform pop-up card using the brand new Just Plain Awesome stamp and coordinating die. So I stamped my images from that stamp set on white cardstock and I am going to be using Olo markers to color my images today. And if you want to look at the caps, you'll definitely know what colors I'm using, but I'll give you a quick rundown of the colors. For the mice, I'm going to be using CG five, three, one, and zero. Then, and these are not in the same order that I'm coloring, but the OR 2.5 and 2.3, BG 2.3, 2.1, OR 1.3 and 1.1, Y 2.2 and 2.3, RV 0 0.4, 0 0.2 and 0.1, BG 7.6, 7.3, 7.2 .3, and 7.0, R 0 0.6, 0 0.5, and BG 27 and or 2.7 and 2.4. So I these are brand new to me. I've used them a handful of times, so I have to get myself familiar with the colors for sure. But um, I decided to color all of these super cute paper airplanes in bright different colors because I'm thinking about it from a card making point of view, of course. And I figure that these cute little mice are making these paper airplanes from colored cardstock. So I think these are turning out really, really cute. This is gonna add a lot of color to the card because when I'm using the platform pop-up, I'm also gonna be using the cloud wraparound and the pop-up cloud insert. So a lot of that, there's gonna be a decent amount of white on this card. So I thought it would make sense to give the paper airplanes a bunch of color. I did add a little pink to the ears. Their noses are pink. Um, and then the, of course the mice are just all that same color, keeping it super, super simple. But these little mice are so cute. We're also gonna be doing some hot foiling with the super fun Stitched Trails hot foil plates. So that's gonna add an element, of course, to this card. I'm gonna use the coordinating dies to die cut out these images. Uh, I did wanna add a little bit of highlights with a white gel pen to the paper airplanes and some dots to some of the cheeks of these cute little mice, just to add a little something extra. Okay, so this is the cloud wraparound for the platform pop-up die, and I am using the Stitched Trails hot foil plate. I'm gonna tape this in place. So with the cloud, uh, wrap around you're going to have two of these you'll have a front and a back essentially so I am going to foil on the front I am using the speckled aura foil I like aura foil it's my favorite but having the speckle even though it's on these tiny images it gives you just a little bit of a different shimmer and shine so I'm going to tape that in place and put that on my glimmer hot foil system once it's all nice and hot, then I can pull it from the docking station, add my plates and shims, and then run that through my die cut machine. And then when it's done, I can peel it back and we've got some hot foil. So let's hot foil some more things. I want to hot foil this heart trail on the little side pieces that are gonna go on the platform pop-up. So in the original platform pop-up die, you have two, you can cut two square pieces that are gonna go on a side and then you have the rectangle that goes in the center for like sentiments, which you guys will see here in just a little bit. Then there's also the cloud pieces that are gonna go on the T pieces when we put this platform pop-up together, which you guys will see here in just a little bit. But I thought I wanna get the foiling done all at once. So we're gonna add a trail on each one of those little cloud pieces. And I'm gonna tape that in place again using that same speckled aura foil. I'm just trimming off all of the excess. Then this is one of the big inserts, the cloud insert. I wanna add some foil on here. So I'm gonna tape that in place. And then I can get everything foiled and then we can get to putting the pop-up, the platform pop-up die together. But let's peel this off. I ran it through my die cut machine again after I added the shims and the plate. And you can see we've got some fun foiled trails here. So let's foil our last piece. And I also foiled the last little square that's gonna go on the side. And again, you guys will see how all of this is gonna come together here in just a little bit. Here is the platform pop-up. I have die cut it twice from white cardstock and this time I only need two T pieces because we have that uh, cloud insert that we're going to be putting, putting in. So right now I am folding away from myself on all of the score lines. 
And then the two T pieces have a score line on the bottom as well. And I'm going to fold on that. And then we want to add some double sided adhesive. And that's going to make sure that this holds together nice and neatly. So I have those folded. Here's those T pieces. Again, we just need two because we're going to be adding that cloud insert. So let me fold that one more time. And then now let's add our double sided adhesive. I'm using that because it is strong and it's going to hold this together so you can open and close it and pop it up and all that wonderful stuff. So I'm going to add this to all of my little tabs here, the tabs on the T pieces as well. And then I'm going to show you how to put this together. It's super, super simple. This is my most favorite interactive die from Lawn Fun. Okay, so we flipped over both of the pieces. We slid the T piece through the hole. I'm going to remove the release paper, press down the tab, remove the other release paper, and tuck that in. And now we have that piece. So flip it over again, pull it through tightly, remove the release paper, press this tab down, remove the other release paper, fold it up on the next score line, and then I just tuck that down in between. And now we have our two halves to our platform pop up. Let's add some more adhesive to this. So here is that insert piece. I want to add adhesive to the back of that. And the bottom of the clouds, I'm going to line that up on the top score line, which you'll see here in just a second. I added more of that tape on the other pop-up piece. So let's. I'm going to open this up, line it up where the clouds are just at the top there, and then push that down in place. I'm going to remove that, re that release paper from that little tab, line it up, and press it down so now our piece is connected. Remove this release paper, and I'm going to fold this over, making sure all of my corners are nice and straight. And then we have that one last little tab to adhere together. So I'm going to tuck that in, put that in place, and now we have our pop-up die. Let's add the other two little cloud pieces on those T pieces that we placed inside of there. So we have one in front of the clouds and one in back. And remember, these are already foiled, so that's super fun and exciting. So let's put this in place. Look at how cute. Okay, so now we're going to adhere and ink up the cloud wraparound. So again, these have two tabs. I have not folded on the score lines yet because I wanna do some ink blending. I am just gonna fold on that one little one where we are going to adhere it together. And then let's ink blend this. This is the only cloud that's gonna have color. So I am starting with ballet slippers, then I'm gonna ink blend with peach fuzz and then finally finish off with lemonade. So I want this to have a fun, almost sunset feel to it. I like these kind of colors. This is kind of my, it's a fun combination. So it's one of my favorites. Now let's uh, add a little bit uh, of the lemonade at the top here. And then you can see we have a really nice, good blend. Once I'm done doing this, then I can fold on all of the score lines and we can get this wrapped around that platform pop-up die. I did gently rub off the foil so there wasn't any ink sitting on top of that. Now let's remove that release paper and adhere those two pieces together. And now we're going to fold down the platform pop-up, add adhesive on the top parts of both sides. And then we're just going to literally push this down over the top and tuck it down, adhere it, and now we've got our little cloud wraparound. Isn't that darling? Okay, so I am using the... Uh, just plain awesome sentiment trails and this one says happy birthday this is on that little rectangle that comes in the platform pop-up die that I mentioned I did not foil that but I did want to stamp it and let's start getting our little images in here I have I did color four of the mice and I am going to use all of them I didn't know if I would but I placed two of those around the trails that we foiled then let's place those rectangles and squares down and this little guy that's gonna be in front, he's hanging on the back of the little paper airplane. I decided to add a piece of acetate behind him so he could stick up above the clouds because he was getting a little bit lost. So this is gonna give him a little bit of height. And so he's gonna be right above the clouds and you guys can see here in just a second, but I just adhered him that way. 
I want to add this other little mouse that's getting ready to fly a paper airplane. He's going to be on the front. Then there's a trail that's going off on the side that has another paper airplane. And then we have the cute little mouse that's going to be folding his little paper airplane. So I'm putting him right here above the sentiment. I didn't add any paper airplanes to the cloud in the back because you just wouldn't see it. But this little yellow one, I did fold over the tip because I want it to cross over to the side panel when it's popped up. So I did add a little bit of a, a crease there so it went from the front to the side. But look at how cute this is. I love those little paper airplanes. And of course the platform pop-up die is so darling. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope you guys have a really wonderful day. Bye. 